Can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah, that's how long it took me to make this video because my iPhone keeps on corrupting the vi It's never done this before and it's literally, I'm trying to get this out as fucking fast as possible and my phone's like, like he's fucking Post Malone or something. Sort your shit out. Tosser. I'm recording this on a 720p MacBook Pro webcam now. So sorry if the audio is shit. I don't control the weather. That was shit. <sighs> I've been waiting for this day for the past three years. No more. No more fucking shitty kickstand. No more. Oh, my Joy Cons for that. That's probably still going to happen. Look at this. Oh my god, look at this. The 7 point... One, no, that was the old screen. The 7 inch OLED screen. Oh my god, even though this isn't pro, it's still a major improvement from what was before. Like 720p, ooh, what the fuck is that? The resolution is going to be such an improvement from this version, it's going to be next to none. <laughs> I was pretending to spit on a switch. It's over there though, so cut this bit out. Anyway, let's run down the list. It's got a kickstand, an adjustable kickstand. Now, I don't know what that means, if it's clicky, if it's smooth. It's the whole entire bottom back part of this switch. It's got OLED screen. It's got, it, they say vivid colors. I don't know what that means, to be fair. I just know OLED is better than 720 fucking B. It's got enhanced audio. So, I already thought the switches um, audio like speakers were good. I never found a problem with them. So them tight, them holding this as a feature must mean that there is a big improvement. Because even the screen, they could have just said OLED, but even the screen size is a is a big difference. It's noticeable even in actual like renders, uh, not renders, but like actual like the video. I can tell that this is a new switch and the dock. Oh my god, this white is absolutely immense. The new dock look is amazing. So you can get this in white. Or you could get this in neon red and blue. The white comes with a white dot, the neon red and blue comes with a dot like that. You can't see it. Um, and I'm gonna get white if I get it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and oh my god, these photos, man. This white looks so fucking classy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, yes. So this is for all you Smash players. Um, I was actually thinking about getting this a while back. I still haven't got Switch Online yet again <clears throat> but wired LAN built in oh my god finally they haven't done this ever ever the gamecube didn't have LAN built in but to be fair only the original xbox did of that generation and the dreamcast didn't exist for most of it uh it had a modem built in um came with broadband later anyway the wii didn't the wii u didn't it might have. I don't think it did. The Switch didn't. It came with a LAN adapter. Well, no, you had to buy a LAN adapter that was always sold out. But this one does. And I, I, whenever I think of this, I think of Sakurai. So, thank you, Daddy Sakurai. Now, this one is a smaller one, but as they're touting it as something worth mentioning, I think I should mention it. 64 gigs of internal storage. So you can fit 10 more games on your Nintendo Switch. Yes. That's not a lot. My Xbox 360 can fit more than that, but then again, that was back when games were actually on the disc, and they weren't just a key. Thank you, Xbox. Fucking prick. You can fit more games without having to fork out for these stupid Nintendo SD cards. You're not even going to see it, mate. What do you mean? Oh, my God. So, yeah, that is literally the uh, new Nintendo Switch. It's arriving on the 10th. No, the 8th of October. There's no price yet. So, going on to price, what do I recommend when it comes to, do I get the part of me? Do I get this still, knowing that the new one's coming out? Now, they're still selling this. This isn't a, the OLED isn't a replacement to the normal. So what I'm going to say is that I think it's okay to still buy this now, knowing that the OLED's coming out. I still think it's worth it. If it's £100 more, I'd say definitely get the OLED over this, because like these are life improvements that we've been talking about since this console came out. Like the kickstand, uh, the screen, 
I don't know if the dock's still gonna scratch up the screen, and I don't know if the screen is glass. I don't think so. Otherwise, I I I would have hoped they'd still mention it. But yeah, this isn't being replaced, which I find interesting. This has already got. This is the original original switch. So this isn't the one with newer uh, battery. They've already sort of updated this one. So the OLED is definitely a higher tier. If it's £100 more, I'd say I'd definitely get it. If it's £200 more, I'd say this is still a very fine option if you're on a budget and you want it to connect to a screen. I think they made this a very good middle ground. It's a shame that they just can't update it from 720p. WWE. That sounded like WWE. 720p to 1080. I feel like if, I just, if they just upscaled the screen, kept the size, this would be a great middle tier, but it, I'm just saying if it's £100 more, then yes, get, get, definitely get it over this. Vote with your dollar. I think mine's a bit, uh, Ben. Oh, it actually is as well. No, surely. Anyway, that's been me. It took me way too fucking long to make this video. i got to take the dog out now. But tell me what you think down below. I'll put the announcement trailer down below in the description. And as always, have a good day. Have a good week, have a good life, and I'll see you bit, bit, bitty. What the fuck?